Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dextroid and in this video we're going to look at how to route the Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi Note 5 Pro or Redmi 5 Plus or Redmi 5 or any other Xiaomi phone out there. So in order to route your phone, you need to install a custom recovery. And in order to install the custom recovery, you need to unlock the bootloader of your phone. So first we're going to take a look at how to unlock the bootloader of your phone. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the settings and then scroll down and look for MI account. And then go to MI account and create your MI account using your phone number or you can just sign in with your existing MI account. Okay, once that's done, tap on continue, enable sync and find device and then go back and using your MI UI browser, you need to go to this URL en.miui.com slash unlock now zoom in and tap on unlock button now sign into your miui account now you'll be redirected to this page here you need to enter your mobile number and your country code and you need to give a valid genuine reason of why you want to unlock your phone and do not copy paste any reason from the internet or your application will get rejected so make sure you write a very unique and a genuine reason of why you want to unlock your phone and you will get a uh, confirmation sms in about two hours in my case i got an sms in just five minutes that was really fast. Okay, once you get a confirmation SMS, then we can go to the next step. And on your phone, you need to go to settings again and then go to my device. And then find MIUI version and tap seven times on MIUI version to enable the developer options. Now go back to settings again and look for additional settings. Tap on it and then look for developer options. Tap on it and then look for OEM unlocking and then enable OEM unlocking. And also enable the USB debugging mode. And then you need to look for the MIUI unlock status and then tap on it and then tap on the button which says add account and device. After that's done, make sure that you have enabled Wi-Fi, Sync and GPS so that you don't get any errors when locking the bootloader. Okay, once that's done, you need to open your MIUI browser again and then you need to type i.mi.com and then sign in with your MI account. Make sure that you're using the same MI account for all the steps that we are going to do here. Now you need to tap on find device and locate your device location. This is to make sure that you don't get any errors while unlocking the bootloader. And if you get any error, then make sure that you have enabled location and find device from your settings. Now make sure that you have downloaded the MI Unlocker from the link in the description and you have also extracted it in your desktop. Now after you have extracted a folder, go to that folder and find miusbdriver.exe and run it to install the drivers. Now once that's done, you need to open the MI Flash app and then agree and then sign in with your MI account that you have used in your phone. And then this will check if your MI account has permission to unlock the phone. Now, as it says now that your phone is not connected, you need to connect your phone to fast boot mode. For that, you need to first power off your phone and then press the volume down button and power button at the same time and this will take your phone to the fast boot mode. Now connect the micro USB port to your phone 
and connect your USB port to your computer and make sure that you're connecting it to the USB 2.0 port and not the 3.0 port so that you don't get any errors. Now once you have connected the phone, it will show that the phone is connected. Now you can press the unlock button and this will give you a warning, you can just ignore it and then click on unlock anyway. Now if you have followed every step properly, this should unlock your phone successfully. And after that's done, you need to reboot your phone. Now after you have reboot your phone, we need to now install the TWRP recovery. Now make sure that you have also downloaded and installed the minimal ADB and fastboot program from the link in the description. And you have also downloaded the uh, TWRP for your phone. And make sure that you copy your TWRP image to the minimal ADB and fastboot location, which is a CADB in my case, and should be seen for you as well. Okay, once that's done, you need to again take your phone to the fastboot mode. So for that, you need to power off your phone, and then you need to press the volume down button and power button to take your phone to the fastboot mode. Okay, and then on your computer, you need to press shift and then right click and you need to choose open PowerShell window here or open command shell window here. And make sure that you have connected your phone to the USB port. Now you need to type fastboot devices to make sure that your phone is connected to your PC. Now this will show you a device name there. That means your phone is successfully connected to your computer. Now you need to type this command fastboot flash recovery and then you need to type the name of the TWRP image file. Just rename and copy the name of the image file and then open up the terminal and paste the image file by right clicking on it. And then press enter to flash the recovery. Now, in order to go to the recovery mode, you need to press the power button and volume up button. And keep pressing them until you see the TWRP logo. And there are two ways to root your phone. The first is you can flash the super user zip file or you can root your phone using Magisk. I would recommend you to flash a super user. If you want to flash Magisk, then you can go ahead and do that as well. So make sure that you download super user or magic zip file from the link in the description and then you need to connect your phone to your PC while you are in the TWRP recovery and move the super user or magic zip file to the internal storage of your phone from your computer. Once you are in the recovery mode, you need to go to wipe and then you need to format data and this will ask you to confirm it. Just type yes and continue. Now this will wipe all the data on your phone so make sure that you have already backed up your important data. Now all you need to do is while keeping your phone connected to your PC, download the super zip file or magic zip file and then copy the zip file from the computer to the internal storage of your phone. Once that's done, you need to go to install and then look for the zip file, whichever it is, super user or magic, then select it and flash it to root your phone. Once that's done, you should root your phone and this might reboot your phone several times. Do not interrupt the process. Let it do what it wants to do. After your phone have booted, then you need to look for the super user app and this means that your phone is rooted. Now to check if the phone is actually rooted, you can download a app called Root Checker from the Play Store and then check the phone if it's rooted. As you can see, the phone is successfully rooted here. So this was a detailed video on how to root your Redmi Note 5 or Redmi Note 5 Pro or any other Xiaomi devices out there and so that you don't get any errors 
while unlocking the bootloader or installing the recovery or while reading your phone. So I hope this video helped you and if it did, then do not forget to hit the like button and make sure you share this video to your friends who also want to root their phone. And if you have any problems, you can always comment them in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.